What's up guys, it's Ricky and there is this child who is going viral on TikTok and she's going viral for all the wrong reasons. Basically, that's a TikTok account. Apparently, she eats everything. Uh, she does like very weird stunts, jumping into puddles like randomly. Uh, she even does this in public, like even in, in a school picture. Uh, I saw a post like that she eats you can see uh but this is the ones that got people concerned she's eating raw meats and stuff she eats plants that are very dangerous and all that kind of stuff and so she got a lot of people talking on tiktok concerned over some of the things that she's up to so why don't you guys send me this and uh said ricky have you seen this particular child who's going viral and and stuff now, I wanted to kind of bring back something, and I'm going to bring myself into the story. Uh, I think it's a good example. <laughs> and I give a good example with particularly myself. You know, when I was in high school, like uh, misbehaving, like proper misbehaving, I don't, I'm not talking, like I sit here and I think that was me doing all those things. And I'm talking about you know, early uh, before 2010, like 2005 going towards thingy, when, when Hillbro was dead dangerous, would be all over the city at night doing all kinds of things, clubs, what, like things that scare me. Like when I sit here and I look back at myself and I'm like, how was I surviving all that hojes that I was involved in? Now, why do I want to bring that in line with this child? You know, sometimes when people give advice, they tend to put it upon social media to correct. You know, like put it on people that are following this child and be like, you know, people that are following the child are encouraging it and stuff, right? So a lot of times people tend to do that. They tend to speak to the closest audience that there is. No error there, I get it. You know, that's just what appears at that moment. But I think sometimes we need the people that are next. To, she's in Botswana. Yeah. First question, family. Does she have family? Who is the, uh, who's an adult in her life? I saw she was in school. I saw pictures of a video that she shot while well, she was the video that she was dancing in school. So I'm, I'm supposing that there is a legal guardian, even though it might be an, a, a granny or something, a, or somebody that looks over this child. Those are the people, first of all, okay? I wanted to talk about that. Because sometimes people say, you know, because she might be going viral, and people will be like, you know, why is nobody advising this child? Because she's eating very dangerous things. Like not long she was eating cow dung or something like that and stuff like that pretty scary stuff and so the health the way she's willing to risk her health in order to do all of that stuff so sometimes i'm giving that example of that story about myself so that we might be reminded you know till now we were very naughty <laughs> you know and i think it's a it's a it's a good reminder sometimes when you are doing these things you don't even realize because only when I wanted to get out of that lifestyle, when, that's when I saw the danger of the lifestyle. But what brought me to that? Hear me well. Sometimes we are too soft. You know, the advice that we are giving is too soft. It, it relates to, you know, be careful. You know, how will people see you? You know, you know that, that particular element, people can always defend themselves against that. You know, no. I know myself, you know, so they will always re uh, revert to that. But there's something even more. When, when, when the person's life is now before their face, that sometimes rings in that you might eat one of these things that you're eating and it might kill you. You know, that reality hasn't set in on this child. Now, again, I want to also talk to another group of people. They like being there, being in the comments, like, 
<laughs> you know, they wait for people to make um, commentary publicly and then uh, want to make uh, comments about things like that. To say, hey, you know, my computer is misbehaving. What's this? So they like to be in the comments, wait for people to make comments and then have alternative answers. Sometimes people maybe will find out that maybe the child is not well, uh, maybe mentally or so forth. And so uh, having information after, they will then use that information to then comment. Oh, how could you say that about a child who's like this? You know? Yeah. There is always those ones. They will wait for maybe further more information to come out on the person. And so... You don't help. You are not helping the conversation. We are here trying to help the conversation. Shut up if you have nothing to say. So there is that group. They are always there. They wait for maybe further more information to come out on the person. Then they come here trying to sound smart. You know, like them, they had the best decision on how they handled the situation after the information came to them. So we are trying to advise the situation before knowing anything. by Just on the basis of what we see. Sometimes the reality of the actions need to be told to them. Okay? So some of these kids, they do these things because they don't realize the reality of their actions. This thing can kill you. You know? That's the advice that my mom told me. You see, the way you are, you are, you are living dangerous. I want to know you are living dangerous. Now, you see, some parents wouldn't go as far as telling the child that because they feel like, you know, might hurt their feelings. <laughs> are they feelings there <laughs> you know and so that reality I needed to hear that and once I had heard that uh, it was an easy reference when I saw something that looked like what my mother was telling me when I saw something that said hey my mom might be right here that's when it knocked on me. That's when it dawned on me. I am living dangerous. So sometimes we need, you know, telling social media, you know, social media, people are just following it. People are going to keep following. People, you know, there's this thing. People just love distraction. You know, when you are seeing, you can see it's a car crash, but then you just keep looking. You know, you can't help look away or whatnot. In a situation like this, it's always people that are near, you know, like, Someone who lives in a village. Someone who lives in the town where you know this child. You know? You know? Try and send a message. You know? Like maybe you stay in... You stay in the same village. You know? You can... You are the one that this video is meant for. To say you are the one who can intervene by sending a message. Because you find at home they don't even know. It's only us who know. She does these videos at the dark and what. She does these videos when she's alone. It's, it's always very dodgy and stuff, you know. So you don't know if her parents know. But at the same time, there may be parents that know and then they're just not involved or not engaged. Then another legal guardian, a teacher, you know. You're a teacher at school. You see the child is a little bit more closer to you than anyone else. You know, you might be the best chance of us reaching that child. Otherwise, we'll just be talking into the wind. Because I bet you, if you had told me when I was living in that life of clubbing, working late at night, and then I'm talking about 2000, 2006, 7, you know, when, when Josie was very dangerous. We'll be up and down jo Josie, Yoville, clubbing and stuff like that. I needed to hear that from my mother to say, listen, the lifestyle you are living has danger ahead. You know? And then when I saw it, you know, luckily, when I saw it, I was able to come out from it. Okay? For some people, they only see it the day when it's the last thing. You can remember there was a tavern situation that happened. You know, someone would have warned those kids and said, you know, be careful of this type of things. But those kids, some of them didn't have you know, if you remember my video that I made around that period, I was talking about that particular thing. For some of these kids, the sad part is that that was the one day they told themselves, you know what, I sometimes, I, I live too restricted. Let me today leave a little. And little do they know that that day they will not come back. So 
the chance we have is you who might know the child who's probably live in the you live in the village you know the child or you are the teacher in her school you know to pass a word she might not hear it at that moment but then there is always that reflection where a person reflects and the message of what you said because you are a person who's close the message hits home you know because hey, nowadays you know these kids are just way, way wild i mean my family we don't have that <laughs> we don't do that we don't do that me if, if a child is going out of the, every one of my nieces are like my kid <laughs> and so we'll have problem <laughs> you know will have problem if any of them i saw them on, on social media doing funny things it will no longer i'll no longer put it on their parents it will be my problem now they have a problem with me personally and so try and reach you know if you know the child because people will keep talking or advising to her because she's getting the attention and what not she will just keep doing it until there isn't another stunt you know I remember seeing this other video from Mexico of this other child, the couple, as a matter of fact, they were a couple, and they thought to do an extreme stunt so that they can go viral, you know? And it was of a gun, a desert eagle. He thought a desert eagle could, uh, the bullet could be stopped by a book, a phone book. It didn't. The bullet just went right through and it pierced him, you know? Another thing that I want to highlight as well, you know, you know, in the early days, you know, like when the internet was just becoming a thing, <laughs> you know, for most of us, when our phones were starting to have, you know, MBs and stuff like that, we were told certain things. There were certain things that we heard. You know, I remember a certain video that I heard, I, I think about 2010, 2011, and that video said something along the lines of, learn a skill that others can learn from or learn something that other people can value and take that and let that be the value that you give to others you know and unfortunately nowadays these kids just see people going viral and so they think they need to come up with their own version so that they can go viral off of they've seen all these girls from limpopo trending over not dressing they're no longer famous anymore because people have seen everything there's nothing else so after after a little bit time up they're no longer interested and so even this child if they see that it's not worth it your life has a long span but these things can have a healthy effect that can take you you know once they see that maybe they will then learn you know so i think that's another thing again they just see people going viral and they think you know i need my own twist into things they haven't learned they haven't heard of learning a certain skill or learning a certain trade or thingy they just value going viral. And so this is some of the things that lead to us these things. And so uh, I hope the video would get, or one of our videos would get to someone who's close to the child. You know? Someone in a village. The parents might not be aware. Someone in a vicinity, a teacher. I saw the child in school. You know? If you watch this video, you go to that school. Refer the video to the teacher. The teacher that you know, you know, not just any teacher. The teacher that you know that that child is particularly very close to. You know? A, child, a, a teacher that when she says something, when that teacher says something, the child would hear. You know? And that information would resonate and it will knock to it. Because otherwise, virality or vi being viral online, it means absolutely nothing. Tomorrow, it would have no... TikTok would be gone. There was, a, there was an app called Musical.ly. It was, music was very viral. And you don't see it now. Of course, people say that it transformed into TikTok and stuff. But there was other ones like Vine, which used to make six-second videos. Some of the people that were popular there, you don't even remember them. People forget you. Okay? And to, be, to, to just be an average person, or understanding that I'm just an average person, it helps, you know, because uh, we don't, you don't get out there and try to be doing extraordinary things. Because I understand, I have, I have value as a human being, you know, to bring that value to yourself. Also, that's another thing, you know, just teaching a child something like that and stuff. And so, uh, I hope the video does get across, you know, one of the strategies, you know, 
sometimes we, we, have, to, we have to try. <laughs> you know, we have to try and reach. You, you don't just give up and just say, hey, it's a lost cause. You have to try because, unfortunately, they just see people going viral. They think, it's worth it. There are people who have gone viral who nobody cares about. Now, nobody's thinking about it. There are people that were going viral for some of the craziest things. There was that girl that was going viral because she wanted to quit uh, at, uh, before she even gets to matric. Nobody's even talking about that now. You know, because being viral absolutely means nothing. People tomorrow are going to be caring about other things. Right now it's going to be elections. People are going to be angry about ANC. They will not be thinking about you eating dangerous things. Into your, so that reality is something to set in for the chart. So this reality show, we do daily Christian commentary videos. Hope this video does find you well. And if it's your first time seeing this channel, subscribe to the channel. On this particular channel, we value human life and we value every single person as if it is myself. I value everyone as if it is myself. Interact with others down in the comment section and I'll see you on later on. Y'all have a good one.